Deborah Newenham, a really talented Indigenous artist, created for the Intensive Care Foundation a three-piece artwork entitled We Save Lives, which depicts the journey of a patient through the intensive care unit. There was no brief from the Foundation. I donate a painting to the Foundation every year, and this year I wanted to do their story. I chose sunflowers in the first piece to represent the raising of funds as it symbolises long life, good luck, vitality, intelligence, happiness and it's very auspicious. The icons in the first piece represent meetings with men and women to discuss the identified research projects dedicated to improving the care of critically ill patients through vital clinical research. The tree in the second piece is my interpretation of educating and promoting awareness about critical illness. The ever-changing density of the leaves show that the education and promotion is continuous and evolving, just like the life of a flourishing tree. The tracks in the third piece are about a patient's ongoing care, leading back and forth. It's really an important element to the success of the intensive care unit. Without grants and donations, major research projects are unlikely to happen. So I felt this was really important to show in the third piece. That's why I ended the painting with a bright sun, representing positive, happy outcomes and a bright future. The continuous flow of iconography linking all three pieces represents the continuous passion, dedication and care from the doctors, nurses and the researchers. The Intensive Care Foundation was really lucky to meet Deborah. It was through our WA ambassador, Sharon Knapp, who made the connection just by chance and we were lucky enough for Deborah to turn around and do this magnificent artwork and donate it to the foundation. Supporting the ICF is really important as you never know when you or someone in your family is going to need intensive care help. Through the valuable contribution of people like Deborah and organisations like Oricon, the Intensive Care Foundation is able to achieve our goals, which are not only to increase the number of patient survivals in an ICU, but also improve the quality of life of patients once they leave. We're able to do this by conducting clinical trials in an intensive care environment. I hope when people see the painting, they identify with the importance of the foundation and the need for the foundation to have, have the grants and the funding to continue with the research. Charitable individuals like Deborah and community-minded organisations like Oricon are vital for the Intensive Care Foundation to do the work that we do in the medical research landscape. From an artistic perspective, Deb's artwork is engaging and vibrant, but it also tells a story about a patient journey in an intensive care unit. Each of the three panels cleverly link metaphors that tell the Intensive Care Foundation story really well with truly thoughtful imagination. I think it's very important for companies like Oricon to support extremely worthy projects such as this. Oricon's acquisition of the artwork makes them a generous and caring community-minded corporation. 